Hello guys and welcome, my name is Phoenix and today we're looking at Overfall. Overfall is a fantasy roleplay game of roof diplomacy and tough action. Explore, neg negotiate and fight your way across the seas. That's what the Steam page tells me. And that's what we're going to test today. We're going to have a little let's play of this game. Basically Overfall features uh, all, the, all the good jazz of a uh, procedurally generated world, roguelikes, elements and all fun. We're going to lead two characters in the history of finding their king that is missing. Without further ado, let's start the game and let's see what it's all about. New game. We have two characters here. We have our Daklan and Alison. You can kind of swap between them and you can see other features. So Daklan is a fighter. So that's his class. He has a heroic leap ability. Cooldown 2 target empty hex. So there is a hex, hex kind of battle. So when it comes to fights, there will be a hex field and you basically move around and fight a little bit like heroes of might and magic there's few skills in here weapon and different abilities with this weapon as well obviously and skills earth crack unbreakable in capacitate and all that good jazz so he's basically a, your roof melee fighter Alison on the other hand is a cleric so she will be responsible for healing and giving a little boost to our characters so she's going to be a support character in this game we can also change their name if we want to. So let's call him Rolf, because why not? Rolf and Tyler, that's going to be their history. Also you can name them yourself if you want to, if you feel like it. For now we're going to leave it as it is. Okay, enter the portal, we're going to enter a mystical portal. Find the Ever King if you dare, let's do it. Okay, here we are. You have made it to the portal and back into your home world, so we've been outside of our home world. Can't believe my eyes, you are them. Been three centuries since the end you entered the portal and now you're back. So we entered some mystical portal and we kind of disappeared for 300 years. We look quite okay for 300 years old. I will have options to click in here. Three centuries have passed, what? Okay, three centuries have passed, how? Okay, God knows the... For uh, generations my family has been waiting for you, your arrival, right at this spot. And I am the lucky one to fulfill the family prophecy. Okay, so we have a special bubbles when they have a yellow bubble in here. You have a special skills that enhance the conversation. So because our character has a little bit of wisdom skills, she can answer the question here. I think there has been some anomaly in time when we enter the portal. You have a wisdom to understand the difference, but not many could foresee that this would happen, except for one wizard. Why have you been waiting for us? That's a good question. Mighty wizard Ezal gave his quest to my grand-grandfather for the day you will return. The world isn't the same since you left. The ever king has gone missing, so we lost our king. The almighty ever king has gone missing. Well, let's ask that question. The citadel has vanished long ago. No one knows why and how, but Ezel left my family a message to hide and deliver to you. For when the day comes. Okay, a message. What is the message, mate? Two beacons will be unsealed only to those who are revered. The light will unveil the path to your king only when the races of days deem you worthy. Then we should introduce ourselves to the leaders of this first, if we are to find our beacons. So I think we have to improve the relationships with different races in here in order to them allow us to find the beacon. I think that's the that's the pie problem in here. We have to there are different races in the game, we have to befriend all of them so we can find our king. That's true, then you you should make your way up to the society first. Time has changed, the world is in chaos. Okay, do you have anything else that may end us in our journey? Okay, let's ask that question. Plus two frags, okay, whatever they are. Take this. That's all I can do. I just will give you my family ship to, for you to sail. Okay, that's fine. So we're going to sail on their ships. Okay, thank you and farewell. Radius encounter, because it's a beta, I can kind of press buttons here. Let's give it four. Hey, let's go for it. 
Okay, awesome. So now, we are in our boat. I can kind of click around and move around. If I hold left, I can move faster. If I just click, I can move like one little step at a time. Volcanic Island, Forest Island, and Grass Island. As you can see, everything moves around me, so it's not game, it's not power. Human Halo, let's go to Human Grassland first. Let's see what is there. Oh, there is something there on the ground, let's pick it up. Or not. <clears throat> okay, on the island you come across the man who looks deeply troubled. Oh, I'm stupid, stupid man. What I was thinking, what was he thinking? Just leave him and sail off. No, let's talk to him. He replies with a morbid tone, okay. Oh, there is a lot of reading in this game, that's awesome. No. Uh, <laughs> I struggle with reading sometimes. I have tons of debt to very troub troubling man. Had to pay today, but I have no frags left. Now that's threatening me with death. Well, should I mean debt, should you? Really don't know what to do. I think I will just suicide. That's not the best idea, is it? Okay, so we can ha help him pay the debt off, or we can... Make sure that he doesn't trouble him. I think kind of killing people for a debt is a bit pushing it, so let's bring it to us. What you really do is for you. Thanks. No problem. Follow him. That's a troubled man, so we're going to talk to them first. It leads you to cave entrance where the bunch of bandits reside. That's fine, there are two bandits there. Ogden, he sent another bunch of mongrels, hoping somebody else will do the dirty work. Okay. So we have two options, leave him alone or we'll leave your bodies behind or just give him some work so he can pay off his debt. I think that's a reasonable solution here. You know what, indeed, I can use some extra manpower. So send him to me and we can talk the business. Go back to poor guy, that's fine. So we didn't fight, but we gathered some things. We managed to put the end to the poor man's problems. We got some dust from that and some food. So my debt is paid this way, I can't thank you enough. You have set me free again. Well done. We are amazing. We're going to give it four because we are so awesome. Okay, so we solved the debt. We didn't have to fight. I'm glad with that. That's kind of relationships with different different races. So we have what? Dwarves, Elves, Orcs, Goblins, Hallows, and Forsaken. A mysterious invaders start peering from the portal. And they objected to build the shipyard. Okay, that's fine. Let's pick this crate up. Plus four or something. Let's go to this settlement. Let's see what is there. The inhabitants of this island village tell you of their healer was abducted by Orc. And taken to the camp. That's fine. Let's go for it. Then head to the camp and go there straight away or sail off. What do they say? We haven't... Okay, we're having a chance of surviving the plague season if we don't get him back somehow. But we have no warriors. Well, you should have apprentices at least, so you have two healers. One as a backup. Okay, let's go for it. Uh, I will go to camp and we'll fight orcs, because why not? Okay, the, you enter the orc camp. The moon is hostile. The orcs catch sight of you in their hands toward the, their weapons. You people are not welcome here. Okay, so what is here? You are not an orc, you are a kidnapped human. He e. Two orcs and a kidnapped human who thinks that we are not welcome here. Let's investigate that. I was not kidnapped, I joined the orcs to learn their spiritual ways. I am doing no harm here. You have neglected your own people, this is harm. Perhaps you are right, I must go back to them. Good to hear. You have robbed us of our healer ward, you will pay for that. So we're going to fight the orcs now. At least we got rid of the healer, Here will come back. Now we're going to enter the fight. So we have two movement phase. Movement phase, we move around. And don't do much yet. But that's fine, let's move around our guy first. Move the character, yes please. And then we have utility phase. Earthquake, unbreakable. Not much I can do there, so that's fine, we're going to wait with that. Skip the face, yes. Can I change the character? No, I have to skip the face then. 
Weapon phase. We're going to skip attack phase. Yes. Now Org moves around. That's fine. Go for it. Ooh, he's strong. That was bad. Oh, and he scares me as well. Okay. Fateful pull. Pull the target three hexes. Applies protection and restores two HP. That's not bad. We can actually use that on our character. Uh, I can't aim it. I have to stand differently. Okay, so I have to move around. Let's see how it aims. It aims across them. So I have to stand here to be able to use it in the future. That's what we're going to do. We're going to move here. Here. Now, numbering light applies regeneration and two stacks of Aegis, whatever Aegis is. Dispel or scream applies fear. Cooldown. Okay, let's apply fear. Can we apply fear on anyone? What do you fear anyone? Or would mess it up? Okay, wave of life deals three damage, applies agony, and applies blind to critical hit. That's not bad. Retribution deals four damage. Confusion on Holy Nova. Let's use at retribution then. I can't reach it yet. Okay, so wave of life or a Holy Nova. Holy Nova it is then. Holy Nova deals three damage, so dressed in foes restores two HP to allies. Yes. Ah, okay, so it's around us. He scared my guy. He scared my dude. Let's go here then. Didn't look very well, did it? We're going to not use this phase. We're going to not use this phase. We're going to wait. This fight didn't go very well. May actually lose that. Ooh, the orcs are super strong. I don't want to be messing with them too much. Faithful pull, yes. Okay, we pulled him. He is a little bit better. Dispel or numbling light applies regeneration and restores. Removes two debuffs if cast on ally. Two buffs in cast on foe. Okay, let's heal our dude. A little bit of life regenerated, that's fine. Retribution deals four damage, applies confusion. Wave of life. Like we cannot use Holy Nova anymore, okay. Free damage applies agony. Let's use retribution on this guy. Have that. Oh, it wasn't that strong, was it? That's not good. Okay, leap. We're going to leap somewhere. We have to apply on the empty hex. We're going to jump in here. Okay, that was a good leap. Earth crack. Vulnerable and removes one buff from the foe. Applies vigor and removes two debuffs. That's not bad. This arm and immobilize. Let's apply this on ourselves. Remove two debuffs. We are now kind of okay ish. Four damage. Four damage applies mortal wound to target of bleeding. Four damage and blind. 60% chance of blinding. That's not bad. Deals three damage. Target has less than 50%. Let's go for this one for now. Well, that's not too bad. He's blinded. Oh, I'm blinded. Who is blinded? I don't know. I think he is. Oh, my guy is taking so much beating. It's unbelievable. Move our lady. Dispel removes debuffs. We don't have debuffs. We have some debuffs here, so let's remove the debuffs. Because that's all we can do. Wave of life. Deals free damage, agony, and applies blind on the critical heat. Remove one guy at a time. I can't, can't reach this one. Let's go for this dude. Come on. That's not bad. Agony deals one damage every turn for three turns. Stacking by intensity. That's not bad. Now it's my dude. Okay. We're going to move him around. Applies vulnerable and removes one buff. That's not bad. Remove the buff. That's perfect. Vulnerable. What does vulnerable does? Increases received damage by one, stacking by intensity. Okay, let's do apply some bleeding to the guy. Not bad. May have a chance. We may have a chance. Depends how much damage they do to us. 
They do attack our warrior though, and that is difficult. Come on, lady. Don't block the path. To put her somewhere. Let's put her here. Scream! Applies fear, yes. Okay, they fear us. Victim moves 5 hexes in the opposite direction of the caster, does not stack. Excellent. Retribution deals 4 damage or Holy Nova? Let's go for Holy Nova. Applies 3 damage to foes and restores 2 HP to adjusting allies. Yes. Or call Retribution here. Let's, do for, let's go for Confusion and we'll kill one dude. Come on, 4 damage and he's confused. What does Confusion do? Skips the utility phase. Okay, that's not bad. Going to come closer. I'm going to deal some damage. Applies Vigor, removes 2 debuffs. That's not bad. Let's go for that one. Oh, we can't use this one. That turn was taken away from us. So we have to use the attack. Plus 3 damage if target has less than 50% health, which he does. Go kill him. Oh my god, you haven't. Uh, let's hope he survives. Missed, perfect. You recover because of our skills. That's not too bad. We are, we're going to win it, guys. We're going to win it now. I'm confident of that. Let's go for a little leap. Oh, that's a faithful pull of our lady here. Oh, she cannot do it. She has to move around. Okay. You move around then, that's fine. Numbering Light applies regeneration and... Do that. Apply regen, because that's not bad. Agis, increase the vision by two for two turns. That's not bad. We're doing great, we're doing great. I'm confident of her. Deal free damage, applies Agony. That's not bad. But she can't reach anyone. So we're going to skip that turn, that's fine. This dude recovered a little bit of health. He is going to do a little leap. Wish I could get them both at the same time. That's fine, we're going to leap. Excellent. Now, can I do anything? Applies Vigor and removes two debuffs. I'm going to use that on ourselves. Removes two debuffs. Vigor cannot be affected by bleeding, trauma, poison, burning, agony, tormented, bone porn, and stuck. Okay, it's excellent. Basically. We're doing not bad. I am confident that we can win it. Okay, lady. Pull the dude. He is a little bit healed. Going to remove the de debuffs for him, which is great. I'm going to use Holy Nova to restore two HPs, I think. Should we? Probably not yet. Wave of Light. Let's do this one. Let's deal damage. It's always better to kill the enemy, in my opinion, than fight him. Okay, we're going to come closer here. We're going to use a Voronable, I think. Yeah. We're going to use Voronable. Perfect. It's vulnerable now to our attacks. I'm going to do this one plus free damage for less than 50%. Excellent, we won the fight. Orcs lay dead. We got three duos, four food. Rolf gained Craven. Really? That's bad. Okay, so because he was afraid, he got Craven trait. 50% chance to apply fear to yourself at the beginning of each turn. That's really bad. That's tragic. Increases accuracy by four. That's not bad. Okay. And how do I quit that? Let's return to the village. Let's return. You unlock companion for your next playthrough. Coming friendly or... Hump the race will increase your party size up to four. Allowing you to recruit companion for the cost of one run. Okay, we have two runs. That's fine. Excellent. So this dude is going to join us in the future. Which doctor was unlocked? That's fine. For our next playthrough. So we will play next. And we pretty well. We'll get this dude for the future, okay. Good luck, Doctor. Farewell. Radius Encounter, let's give it 
five. Why not? We love it. Okay, guys, I think that we're going to finish the episode in here for now. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed it so far. And please do come back tomorrow because we'll be playing more of this game because I have a lot of fun with it. And we'll see how it goes for everybody. Thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you guys next time.